Now here's one that's a little bit more local. And I've followed this woman's story for quite a while now, but there's really very little about her. This is um, missing from Pound, Virginia. No matter what her story is, she matters and she deserves to be found. The Wise County, Virginia Sheriff's Office is requesting information regarding a missing person by the name of, by the name of Sandra K. Pike. If you have any information about her, please contact the Wise County Sheriff's Office at 276-328-3756. She's been missing since January the 13th, 2021 from Pound, Virginia. She was 53 years old at the time. She's 5 foot 4 inches tall and 170 pounds. The only identifying clothing was that she was wearing a leather jacket. She's a white female with brown curly hair and blue eyes and her maiden name is Church. She was last seen in Pound, and she was never heard from again. Her family waited until January the 17th to file a missing persons report because it was unusual for her to go a few days at a time without contacting anybody. There were two possible sightings of her in the area in the days after her um, last verified contact. Witnesses reported seeing her riding in a white pickup truck with a man, and these sightings have not been confirmed. She was reported missing by her family when she had not been heard from for at least five days. The last time anyone had contact with her was January the 12th, 2021. Um, she was a familiar fixture in town and was usually seen walking. Some residents claimed to have seen her with a man in a white pickup truck that had a small chest top freezer in the back. Virginia Sexton, who was a friend of hers, begged anyone who knows anything, please come forward. She's the sweetest little thing she really is. Now, I think and I don't want to talk about this woman without having more information. But I think that a lot of people talked about her as being someone who was known to walk around the area. Um, I don't know if it was drug related or if it was mental health. They did say she was taking medication daily. They didn't specify what it was for. If she was known to walk and hitchhike, it could have been anything from someone picked her up and just said, you want to go on a road trip with me? And maybe she just relocated to a new area. Or it could be that she was murdered and thrown over an embankment or a mountain. If you are familiar with Wise and Pound, Virginia, it's a very mountainous region. It borders Tennessee. And I don't know if this woman was known to carry a cell phone. Nothing is mentioned here about that. Let me read some of the comments. See if anyone has anything to say that might add to this. This is another story about a woman that someone posted in the comments about a woman who went missing in Wise, Virginia in 2017. And some people are just saying that there was hardly any media coverage. Well, WYMT, which is a local TV station located in Hazard, Kentucky, which is probably about an hour from Wise, they did run a story on her. The Mountain Eagle is a newspaper that's located in Letcher County, which is about 10 minutes away from Wise. They did do a story about her. There's Facebook pages dedicated, and she's on the Charlie Project, Name Us, and a bunch of other missing persons websites. Local media did cover her, um, 
but just like with any other local missing person, they usually get a day or two mention, and then it stays up on their website for a few months or maybe longer, and that's about it, unless it's a young child. So I would just say that, yeah, there was media coverage, but there was very little details. But I'm going to click on the picture of this woman and see what they have to say about her. Murray Rebecca Osborne. She was last seen on Hell Gap Road in Wise County, Virginia on May the 14th, 2017. She was 46 and she was 5 foot tall and 105 pounds. She had thin, she was a thin billed woman with blue eyes. She had brown hair that was just past her shoulders. She was last seen wearing brown a, a brown long sleeve t shirt, blue jeans, and gray tennis shoes. Um, she was being dropped off on Hell Gap Road, approximately three miles from the Kentucky state line from Letcher County, Kentucky. So let me look her up here, see if there's anything about her on any of the pages. Um, this is from 2021, reward offered for missing Wise County woman. A $5,000 reward has been offered to help locate a Wise County woman who went missing in 2017. According to the Wise County Sheriff's Office, Murray Rebecca Osborne was last seen May the 14th, 2017 on Hell Gap Road in Pound, Virginia about three miles from the Kentucky state line. And if you have any information, contact the Wise County Sheriff's Office at 276-328-3566. She goes by the name Becky, and it tells the same details. Few details are available in her case. I'd like to find something where maybe some of her family members may have talked to the press or spoken to someone, but it's like you, these, like I've said before, these um, outlets pick up the story and each one of them runs the same story, and does anybody really dig and research and try to find anything about her. Now, in one poster here on Web Sleuth, it says that it was asked to call the criminal division if she was found. So they're suggesting that she might have been on the run, that maybe she was wanted, maybe she was in some kind of trouble. Now, here's someone who is trying to possibly put her in as a match to a Jane Doe who was found in Mississippi. The vital stats match. The only thing I didn't see was mentioned was prior surgeries for the missing Virginia woman. The body was found February the 16th, 2019 in Moss Point, Mississippi believed to be between the ages of 30 and 60 and estimated to have been dead for over a year, 5 foot 2 inches tall and 105 pounds, with brown hair with a little bit of gray. Two people were uh, found the body in an advanced state of decomposition. Other people say that they believe that she was a woman who was seen in the area who said that her name was Connie or Becky. It was discovered that the deceased had two large front incisor teeth in bad condition, a healed surgical scar on her abdomen. She also had a right, she also had a metal rod in her right femur. So several people on here are asking, did this woman ever have um, surgery on her stomach? Did she ever have a metal rod? Was she in an accident? 
what were the condition of her teeth, and did they ever reach out to this town, to the police that found this dead body there, and ask the question, could we get DNA? Did this Becky, who went missing, this Murray Becky Osborne, did she have children? Did she have living siblings who could give their DNA to test against this Jane Doe? I don't know the answers to that, but I'm going to keep looking into these local women and um, try to do some more stories on some more local women. If you remember, I did a story on a woman who went missing in Buchanan County, Virginia, a few years ago, who was never found. Myra Gertrude Ramey was a woman who went missing in Davenport in Buchanan County, Virginia, and she went missing in 2020. So is there something going on in this area for those who know Buchanan County, Dickinson County, Wise County, Virginia, all within a 15, 10, 15 minute drive. I talked about Becky Hopkins from Pike County who's still missing. She went missing um, and in the Coal Run area. I just recently did a video about her. Her family's still looking for answers for her. Pike County borders Letcher County and Letcher County borders Wise County and these counties are all in this little area, all within 30 minutes drive from one town to the next. And I'm not suggesting that this is some kind of serial killer or that any of these women's stories are related, but the one thing that they all do have in common is that they don't all live in suburbs with a two-car garage and a nice SUV and little kids, and they're, they're not all on social media with the... And I'm not saying that... Lacey Peterson and Shanann Watson, those women don't deserve, you know, recognition, don't deserve uh, their stories to be talked about either, but it's not equal. It's, you know, the, the law doesn't look at one story the same as it looks at another. These women have all had problems with the law. They've all had problems with their relationships and their families. They've all been involved in some kind of activity that's looked down on. And so they don't get, and this is according to society, this is according to their family and social media, that they're forgotten about. And we don't want them to ever be forgotten about. We want them to be found. We want their stories to be told. I'm not suggesting that any of these women and their cases were related, but they were all known to be um, troubled women, women who were often known to walk or hitchhike or, um, you know, and some people have even suggested that the police haven't really put forth any effort into finding out what happened to them because they weren't upstanding members of the towns. And, you know, but often has been the case, and I'm no expert, but you take someone, like I just got finished watching this documentary that was like 20 videos about Lacey Peterson. There are literally thousands of web pages, Facebook pages, YouTube channels, stories, movies about Lacey Peterson, about Shanann Watts. But, the, but these are mothers, young women, married, homemakers, upper middle class women. These women are on the fringes of society. These women that I'm talking about here, they're the women who get involved with the wrong types of men, who get involved with drugs, who maybe go down the wrong path in life. And they don't often get the same coverage. That's why I like to talk about them. Well, I don't like to talk about them. I wish that they were there with their families and their kids and their loved ones and that their stories weren't being talked about in this manner. But it's one of the reasons that I do talk about these lesser-known cases. But someone will lend a voice for them. Thanks for watching.